My name's Dave, and I've spent most of my life outdoors here in Canada's western frontier. I believe one thing to be true. Outside is therapy. It's where we both reconnect and disconnect. I hope you'll come with me as we build, explore, and repeat. Alright guys, let's uh, give you all an update as to what's going on here. Let me make this brighter too. Right now we're just at this peaceful lake and we're hanging out. Saw a couple of guys pull some trout out of here. They were fly fishing on a fly rod. So we're in this really beautiful uh, high alpine mountain lake in BC. Uh, but a uh, bit of an update on the truck itself. We went to a full uh, a full lithium kit. So we've got lithium battery uh, and a Victron charger. So um, the first three days with the unit, uh, with the battery, uh, I got about three days out of the out of the battery charging the, running the lights and the fridge. However, uh, today, this morning when I checked the battery, I was at like 70%. About two hours ago when Calvin and I pulled off on the side of the road on one of these trails. I, I double checked the battery because I was just curious, right? I have this first time using lithium. And it went from 70 down to 35 in the span of like four hours. So I don't know why that happened. Um, so I'm going to have to look at that. Also, uh, all we did was pull the charge controller and, sw and swap the charge controller out. Um, we didn't change the panel. We didn't rewire nothing. And the, the wiring itself... Uh, or the charge controller itself doesn't seem to be taking a charge from the panel, so it's not even seeing the panel. So we haven't been doing any solar charging whatsoever, which is kind of a bummer because we're day four now, day four on the road, and we haven't been taking any charge. So definitely going to need that solar panel working. Um, I think all I'm going to need is 100 watts, so I think we're good, but the type of solar panel is going to change. We have a sticky up there, like a flat sticky, and we're not going to do that. We're going to go to a monocrystalline paddle. Uh, it's just better altogether. But as you can see, we got camp set up. We got Zeus inside. It's really quiet here. There were some people here before, but they did left, leave. And then I did just hear some guys pull up, and it looks like they might be launching a boat. Yeah, they're definitely launching a boat. Um, so they're going to be doing some, some lake fishing here. But we got this beautiful spot all to ourselves. And I'm assuming we will be all to ourselves tonight. Guys, absolutely, uh, absolutely epic, epic weekend. Um, I got nothing bad to say about the weekend. Um, I love testing out our products. And doing stuff like this is exactly how we make a, a better product. We actually just, we build and buy the things that we believe are the, the best value and the best quality that we can find and we throw them in our stuff and then we go out and use them ourselves. That's how we build our campers. That's how we build, that's how we test everything that goes inside of it. So, I mean, all things being equal, great show at uh, the BC Overland Rally. Um, yeah. If we don't catch a fish tonight, we are going to eat our steaks. We brought some uh, ribeye steaks from home and some potatoes. So we're gonna have a nice hearty steak dinner tonight if we don't catch a fish um, and then crash pretty early wake up do a little bit of fishing and away we go so let's go fishing Catch anything? not a damn thing not a thing, not a thing. You been up here all weekend or just last night? No, I just pulled in like a couple hours ago. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good. 
gonna stay up here for a few nights or just the night? I'll be here tonight. Nice. Yeah, I'll be here tonight. I'll pull out sometime in the morning and then hit some other lake or river somewhere. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thanks, man. Appreciate you guys on the fly, eh? Pardon? You guys just trolling a fly? Yeah, trolling a fly. Yeah. That's what everybody else seemed to be catching on out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. All right, guys, we're gonna get cooking on some supper here and we're gonna have steaks. We got this beautiful boy cooking already. And then we're gonna have some collard greens. Cheap, cheap ass collard greens. That's what we're gonna do. And I didn't catch my meat on time before it started leaking all over the fridge because the fridge went down. So <clears throat> learning new systems is fun. It really is. It's just, it just takes a bit. It takes a bit more than you think. Well, that bad boy is cooked. That's what you would call medium well. Come on, focus on me, buddy. There you go. That's uh, that's medium well. Mm. You know what? With a steak, if it's cooked right, to your liking, you don't need a. You don't need that, that you don't you need salt and pepper. That's what you need. Amazing. Come on, focus. There we go. Look at that. Mm. Excellent. All right, guys, I'm going to eat this. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Hang out with you guys in a bit. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is, uh, it's not getting cold, but the critters are coming out and I don't feel too, I don't feel too, uh, social right now with the skeeters and I don't want to like douse myself in bug spray. So we decided to migrate inside. So we are in my Yucca Pack camper. If I could be real right now. I'm bagged and by rights I should be back in Alberta so that I can be back to work and back in the shop Monday but I'm just burning out I'm uh, I'm just burning out and so I've decided to take a couple extra days so we're staying here tonight in this really beautiful spot sorry guys uh, so this is my Yucca Pack camper this is generally the configuration that you're going to find it in during most of the summer. Uh, but up top we have our bed here. And I've got my blackout for my PVC rear window. I personally love the PVC rear window. 
It is becoming difficult to continuously and consistently seal the edge though. Um, but yeah, so this is my bed. I rock a double, double sleeping bag, double wide sleeping bag. Uh, so it acts as like my bed sheet and everything. So it, and it covers up the whole thing. It's also really thick. Um, so it bulges out at the sides a little bit, but oddly enough and conveniently enough, it doesn't make it too difficult to continue to put the top down like before. Just got to push it down a little bit more to compress it. Uh, I usually rock a little lantern up here. Uh, and then I've got my gear attic here and my Canadian pillow, which has been with me freaking everywhere. Um, and then the thing protruding into the camp space here is my table. I keep my my uh, my folding table up between the cabinet and the top, just so that it's up and out of the way. Under here, got my fly rod, got bug nets in there. Inside this cabinet, I got some books, some coffee cups, a sewing kit. Um, there's probably a rag in there as well. And then underneath, in the second cabinet, got my toiletries bag, got some backpacking equipment in case I want to go take a hike for a day. Got my adventure trail gear, mole bag, and a backpack cover with an extra stove. Um, sometimes I'll make coffee inside in the mornings. Um, usually in like the fall and the spring when it's still cold out. I'll, uh, I'll actually come in here and uh, before I even get out of bed, before I actually go out in the snow, I'll make a nice pot of coffee sit right down here just like this boom and i'll put my phone up there and i'll watch some sort of youtube videos and drink my coffee you gotta see it all set up here we're in like a five and a half foot box guys so um my pantry is right here so i can generally access my stuff inside there then i got a charge station over here with my tablet on it right now and uh, yeah, like I said, we were testing that new lithium. It totally blew me, blew me away for three days straight. And then, <clears throat> then it just kind of tanked. Uh, it went from, it held, it held fast from 100 to about 80%. And then once it hit about 75%, it just went. <sighs> and just tanked after that. Still happy with the three and a half days that I got. But I was expecting a little bit more judging on the consumption and I was using the lithium blue connect app so I'm asking a lot out of the battery I understand that um, and I also remember that the solar panel also wasn't charging so if I would have had 100 watts of solar coming in and I would have had 100 watts despite the dust even it made it, it the sun was out so I would have had some strong solar charge going on and uh you know what? We still we still would have been just fine. I think I think we had would have would have been just fine. Really stoked. I got some waters in here. Um, I've got a little bit of whiskey. So I think what we'll do is just enjoy the rest of our evening and um, watch some Crocom outdoors. I think. And officially at ten thirty. Is it 10.30? 9.30. At 9.30, um, the lights that I was just that were just running and the charging station that was charging the um, tablet, you hear the loons? I love the loons. Uh, has just quit. So we are officially out of battery entirely. From start, from the moment we left, I unplugged this truck to right now. It is now Sunday evening. And... That is how, exactly how long a fully charged 100 amp hour lithium battery will run my Yucapac camper with a fridge and all of the lighting and the power management system. Awesome. I'm glad that actually happened while I was here uh, because that's some really critical data that I really wanted from this trip. That means that this uh, mission was a success, guys. We came out here. We went to the BC Overland Rally. We met up with some awesome people. Uh, a bunch of people that wanted to see the Yucapac Camper ended up seeing the Yucapac Camper. We made some cool connections with companies like Rux. And most importantly, guys, we got to hang out with the people that we love, doing the things that we love. We'll see what the morning brings. Um, but we had a great dinner. 
Um, we've got some whiskey to drink. We've got enough power here to charge probably like 70,000 cell phones because there's menial, there's extra batteries over here and charge stations over there. and So we're golden, but uh, we're going to end it here, guys. Um, I will see you all in the morning. Uh, but we're going to... There you have it, folks. Camper's all put away. We'll send it. Zeus really wants to go in the truck. What do you want? What do you want, Zeus? Tell me. What do you want? Hmm? Wanna go in your truck? You wanna go in your truck, please? I'm telling you, this dog only ever wants to be in the truck. Me. Not so hungry. Hmm? So here's the plan. We're going to get off this Forest Service Road. We're going to get back on a main highway and grab some fuel. And then we're going to boogie back to Alberta along the highway. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. As you can see, we are back at the Adventure Factory. Doing stuff like this is a heck of a lot easier when you've got such strong support coming in from the other side of the screen. So if you could do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'm sure the rest of the folks and fellows in this little adventure group of ours would appreciate it as well. But that's going to do it, guys. Live free. Be wild. Tomorrow, it's back to work.